All right guys, got another little install for the sled today. These are the Skidoo Tunnel Supports. So I'll show you why I'm putting them on. So let's get to it. So I probably should have put these in right away when it happened, but I hit a rock early this year and it pushed this up a little bit and I just nailed it down with my booty. And now this popped off and I kept riding through the season because I thought it wasn't going to end. But if you can hear the wind blowing, it's definitely not ending. But now, because of that and everything else, she's a cracked there and there. So should have done this a long time ago, but that's why I'm gonna put these guys in. They're gonna lay in just like so. We might have to do a little bit tweaking to get this one in. You see, it's pretty far off. I mean, the other side's just laying in there and that one at least sets in, so. We're gonna have to push this middle up. We're gonna re-grind off this rivet and then kind of bend this down and rivet the new one on. So let's get to it. What I wanna do is get the ass end up out of the air. I'm gonna show you this side. I'm not gonna show you the broken side. This could be more work, but I'll probably do a time lapse on this side. I'll show you how to install this side and I'll show you the end final product. So first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're going to remove the suspension bolt and that's what we're going to use to line up our template and I don't think I think we'll do it like I did with the bumper so I'm going to tape off on top of all these guys and then drill it on the sled and then I'll put the rivets in so let's take that bolt out so what you're going to need is a 16 mil I'm putting mine on an impact and a 17 mil wrench nut because uh, there's a nut on the back side In the kit, you're gonna find two longer bolts to go through the extra thickness of the tunnel. So we're gonna put the plate on. Gently, being careful not to scratch the paint. Now we're gonna have to lift up on the suspension and shove this bolt in. Yeah. All right, well, that uh, took a little longer than I thought. I did have to unbolt here, push the suspension back, so I'm gonna, then gonna have to put a ratchet strap, compress that down. Did you see that holes? Oh, actually, it ends up more than I thought. But that's in, so now I'm gonna tape off all these holes, drill them out with a 3 16 and then rivet it on. Even this one, even though it's not cracked, but there's a big gap down here, man. Not sure how well you guys can see that. That's how much those boards are bent, so maybe I should have put these on from the start. <laughs> maybe on the next slide, but... Alright, I'll tape these off and show you what I mean, and then uh, we'll start drilling. Okay, so this is what I mean. So I'll put tape over all the holes, so when the drill comes and hits it, that's going to be the buffer and won't scratch this. So don't forget to add a little bit of uh, lube to your drill, and drill away. And the reason we're doing it this way is that bolt's gonna keep everything in line. And when I drill this out, I'll put the rivets in as I go. They also come in the kit. And that'll help keep everything aligned instead of marking everything out, taking it back off, drilling it, and probably having a hole that doesn't fit. So, no turning back. Oh, well, that didn't save it. And I missed the hole on that one. these bottom ones first so in hopes of uh, that'll help pull this up and line everything up in the top ones so it's kind of all got to work together all right and this is your result uh there are some shorter rivets so there's four shorter rivets between the both sides so that's a short one two beside here so you can compare and that's a long one there's about an eighth inch difference in the two Put the uh, long, the short ones go on the side, and the long ones go on the bottom. So 
Uh, to get this up, I'm gonna either have to clamp it or put a jack and kind of push it up so it actually rivets. Otherwise, these are just gonna pour all the way through, so. Uh, I'm gonna pop all these rivets and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. All right, so I got all the rivets popped. I just gotta tighten that bolt. You will reuse the OEM nut and washer on it. And what I ended up doing is using a C-clamp like that, and a vice grip C-clamp to clamp it in the middle here to bring it all up and then rivet all these together. And I didn't show that part because the air compressor was running. You can do these by hand, but the air one is much faster. So we'll tighten down this bolt, put that in, and then we'll move on to the other side. You guys always hear me about torque spec and making sure everything's tight. So torque down. Time to go to the other side. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that out, but I think first thing I'm going to try is a drills. That's kind of seemed to work. I ended up putting a quarter inch rivet in there because the hole was closer to being that size. So uh, I kind of tried tapping this flat through here. I uh, didn't really try through here because I think this would be a lost hope. There's two rivets on uh, each side of that, so not overly concerned. So I'll just repeat, bolts next. Bolts in. I'll tape off all the holes. It's taped off. Now we drill it. Clamp up the middle part. All right. Had to redo this one and that one because they did not make it through all the way. So I used a little bit longer rivet to help hold it all together. And tighten down the bolt and it's Gucci. And that's how you install uh, Skidoo Tunnel Supports. Uh, 21 Renegade. Probably MXZs, Renegades, probably all the same. So I'll show you what the finished product looked like. But so far, I'm very happy. Makes the running boards much stiffer. I think it's be a lot more predictable and more forgiving and hopefully offer a little more grip. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the side that was broke. It actually covers up pretty much the whole the cracks in the boards. And the boards are actually flat now. Nice and strong. Same with this side. Yeah, I'm being a little heavier, but honestly, I probably should just order an XRS. But uh, so far, I like the look. Matches the back bumper, matches the wrap, and all the other white. Matches the front bumper. Can't tell. I kind of like white, but uh, yeah. If you guys like the install, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Uh, just started a Facebook page for Wiener Fabrication, so go check that out and give us a follow. And uh, until next time.